and former politician Peter Dunn joins me now. Peter Tenakwe, what would you say is Andrew Little's legacy? Tenakwe, well, I think the biggest legacy is he's shepherded through quite a lot of big areas of change in industrial relations. He's reviewed the intelligence law, obviously the, the big health reforms, which the jury's still out on. But he was a reform politician. He did a lot. And I think he'll also be remembered as a man of integrity, his integrity in standing down as leader when he did, and his integrity in reaching a decision today to recognise that time's up on his career. I think he'll be very positively remembered as a solid contributor. Peter, do you think more senior Labour members will follow suit? Yes, I do, but not immediately. And, and indeed, it's it's not desirable that they all go at once. But I would think people like Grant Robertson, Willie Jackson, possibly David Parker and one or two others may over the next few months decide to pull up the stumps on their careers. They're all list MPs so they can go without causing a by-election. More importantly, that, that would then allow Labor to begin the process of rebuilding by getting the next people in off its list, some of those MPs who were defeated on Saturday but have got careers ahead of them rather than past to look back on. Interesting. Chris Hipkins isn't stepping back from the leader role, should he? Not immediately, no. I think the last thing the Labour Party needs at the moment would be to have to go through a leadership uh, issue. I think Hipkins is going to take his time. It's not clear to me that he will choose to stay long term. I suspect he won't. But he's such a party person, he's not going to leave them in the lurch. So I think he'll stick around until there's at least a reasonably clear successor in the wings. And then I think he'll go quietly. But to go right now would just be chaos upon chaos. I'll just pick up on what you said there. Who do you think is actually waiting in the wings who could actually take on that role right now or in the future? Yeah. I think that's their big challenge arising out of Saturday. It's not clear immediately who that person might be. I think they probably need a few months in opposition and one or two people might start to emerge as stars. I mean, people have talked about Kamal Sapoloni, they've talked about Karen McAnulty, and they've talked about one or two others of the up-and-comers. They need to be tested in opposition and see how they perform. And I think at that point, Hipkins may choose to step aside. But to sort of do it now would just look like panic and confusion. And I think Labour would not recover from that in a long time. Thank you for joining us tonight. That is Peter Dunn, Ngamahi. Thank you.